Hey everyone, my name is Brandon and uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, a different type of stage lighting. Uh, I already have one video on my YouTube channel that talks about stage lighting and that's mainly talking about like the PAR 38s and the PAR 20s and just basically white stage lighting uh, to light up your stage. And uh, But today we're going to be talking about colored LED lighting. This video is also for mounting stage lights and different things like that as well as showing you some of the LED colored lights you can use. Uh, for stage design, just not necessarily for live streaming, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, going through all that, I want to show you uh, some of the things that we have here at our church. Some of them we use a lot of, some of them we don't use at all right now, but we have used in the past. Uh, and on your screen right now, you're going to see a picture. Um, this is a particular setup we have in our children's church area. And, uh, and I want to show you how we mount this real quick. It's a very inexpensive way um, to do it. It's not going to hold a ton of weight. Um, but it, we have had no problems with it holding any kind of weight that we put up there. Uh, I'm just saying don't, you know, put 100 pounds worth of stuff on there. And so up there you see uh, basically two, uh, two pipes coming down from uh, our ceiling. And then, uh, and then it's mounted across a horizontal pole uh, where all our lights are. And so I just want to show you what that is. Uh, and so basically we have a metal building. And uh, what we did was we uh, drilled holes up into part of our beams. And, uh, and so we have this running through it, it's all thread, and uh, we get our washers and our nuts and all that kind of stuff. And uh, we mount that up there in the ceiling and then hang it down. And uh, this is a short piece that we use for something else. Uh, but we mount it there. And then the horizontal pipe, we drill a hole through it and then uh, attach it to there. And uh, one of the things that we did to make it look a little bit better, we just got some one inch uh, PVC pipe and uh, we painted it black, kind of a matte black, and, uh, and put that over the all thread so that way it looks a little bit better. And so coming out of the ceiling, uh, through the ceiling tile, all you see is just the black pipe and it's, it's a pretty clean look. Um, and then um, on the, the pipe, I also painted it black as well. Uh, it was just aluminum pipe from, from a hardware store. And, uh, and basically I painted it black as well. And then on the end, we just put some stoppers, I think from you know, a chair or something like that. We just found something that they had at the hardware store to, to just make it not have holes open on the, the ends. And, and that's pretty much what we mount our lights on. Again, it's not gonna hold a ton of weight, uh, not 100 pounds worth or anything like that, but every light that we put up there, we haven't felt like you know, our safety was not a concern on that, like it wasn't a big deal. Uh, we didn't feel like it was gonna fall or anything like that. And so anyways, we attach our lights, uh, for example, here's, uh, a big LED light that we have. It's not extremely heavy, uh, but we attach a C-clamp to it. And, uh, and then once we attach a C-clamp to it, uh, we attach it to the pipe uh, using a C-clamp. And I'll have links for all this stuff or stuff, the, the lights uh, maybe have been discontinued since, uh, since I bought them, but I'll have some examples that are pretty much like it. And I'll go through those in a minute. But these are basically C-clamps. Um, and they have different kinds. Uh, they'll look a little bit different. Some are more heavy duty for, uh, for lights that have a heavier weight, uh, but for what we use, you know, the smaller ones are there. And so, uh, but anyways, it looks pretty cool. Again, I'll show you the picture right now uh, of what we have in our children's church area. And uh, we have other examples in our other buildings that may are a little more heavier duty uh, if they're holding more lights or more weights and stuff like that. Uh, but for our children's church area, we just have basically eight lights up there and uh, it's out of reach And so we don't have to worry about anything there uh, And so you know, you can use the judgment call as far as safety stuff on that uh, But I just wanted to share that with you if you're a small church with a small budget Just needing a few lights hung from the ceiling that may be an option for you uh, So let's start off with one of our smallest lights that I have uh, This is made made by stage ape lighting and uh, we just use these for like little accents and stuff like in our children's church area, we have this little paper tree thing over on the side, and uh, we just shoot some of these up with green lights up onto the the uh, leaves to make it a little more brighter, and uh, and so we use that, and uh, nothing big to it. One thing I do like about it, it does have DMX in and out if you want to connect them, and all that kind of stuff, and daisy chain the signal and all that kind of stuff. But it does have an outlet for another light, so you don't have to run extra power cables and so if you need just some kind of small lighting this may be an option for you um, one of the other lights that has been mentioned in the other videos is this is a par 38 and uh, and you just use a regular bulb you can get those at walmart or 
a box store or whatever. And uh, so you can also put color gels in there if you needed those. Um, you know, they're made for halogen lights. You can put LED lights in them. Sometimes they work great, sometimes they don't. Uh, sometimes I get a flicker for some of them. Uh, but I still choose to use LED because it's a lot uh, cooler on the heat and different things like that. But things do come with color gels if you want to use those for some kind of accenting thing. And uh, basically with stage lighting, from what I do know and what I'm just going to tell you, is you get what you pay for. Uh, for us, again, small budget on lighting. Um, and so, uh, you know, we buy the, the Chinese knockoff lights. And uh, the majority of the time, like this specific light right here, uh, we have bought this online through Amazon. And... Uh, and I don't remember the price. I'll, I'll, I'll look them up and put the link in there or the ones that's kind of like it. Um, but I, I know right off hand that they're all going to light up probably right up from the get-go. But then uh, just within some uh, small amount of time, one of them is going to start going out or a fan may go out or something like that. And uh, these are kind of noisy when they first kick on. Uh, but then the fans just kind of kind of lower down on the, the, the noise and then we're good. They do have DMX in and out and how you can change the number on, on all the codes and all that kind of stuff. Um, so if you need something small, this may be an option there, um, but they're not gonna last a long, long time. Um, so we bought things probably maybe two years ago and we've already had two go out. And so, uh, but if you want something temporary or something costly, uh, that's not too costly right now, this may be an option for you as well. Uh, this particular light is a little bit different. This is called a RGBW. Uh, red, green, blue, and um, and so the W is for white, and they make some that's amber as well. And so around the edge, there's like four or five, uh, maybe even a few more of those that are straight white bulbs. They're not like the the red, green, blue that make white, because you know it's always got kind of a bluish tint to it, and you can adjust them and all that kind of stuff. But they have some on here that is straight white. And uh, out of all the ones on this table, that's kind of like the best. Um, you know, and uh, and I'll be honest with you. When I bought them, I bought four of them. These are a little more expensive than the other ones. And uh, and the problem I didn't like about it was the white on those um, basically didn't work on one of the bulbs. Like it was on, but you couldn't turn it down and dim it and all that kind of stuff. And uh, but that's one of my favorite ones out of all of them. Um, and then this one is uh, just the LED bar. These are the ones we had on our stage. Uh, they're made by Stage Ape Lighting as well. Um, and they they flickered in the cameras and so I took them down um, but that may just be camera settings I'm just not familiar with all of it thing I do like about them you can daisy chain them with the outlet as well um, and then you can control some of the stuff DMX uh, link them as well uh, but they have little mountings on the bottom as well and so it, again if you're needing something for stage lighting that's uh, some options that you have uh, but if you want the good stuff um, you're going to pay for it. And so uh, most small churches can't afford that. One last little thing, and this is probably the, the best thing I'm going to show you on this video. Uh, sorry to ramble so much, but if you don't have a way to run DMX uh, cabling, um, you know, a good distance and you want something that's a, a kind of a good cost effective way, and I'll put the link in there as well in the description, um, but you can use these little adapters. <clears throat> and these adapters, basically you plug them into uh, your light, and so it goes under DMXN. And in uh, this light right here, this little top part is gonna grow with a green light and it's gonna glow right there. Uh, but then you also have another one that's the opposite end that you plug in the back of your DMX controller. Um, so you plug one of these in the back of all your lights and, uh, and then you have one going in your DMX controller and, uh, and then you're able to control them without a DMX cable. Uh, now it's all Chinese type stuff, so it's, it's, it's one of those things that uh, the code numbers may not match up just right and stuff. Uh, but we have used these to attach to our DMX dimmers and, uh, and our controllers, and it's worked pretty well for us. And, uh, and so if you want to look at that as an option uh, for a run that you need to make, uh, the only negative on this is there is a place that you have to have a power cable hooked to and you have to plug into an outlet. So you don't just plug it in here and it runs off the power of the light. You do have to have an external power source plugged into it. Um, so anyways, hopefully something in here um, was uh, something that can help you. So one of the last things uh, that I want to mention is a uh, website that if you're looking for some kind of church stage design, uh, it's a very easy website to look up and it's called churchstagedesignideas.com. And, uh, and there's a lot of uh, different ideas on there. It shows you uh, the plans. It shows you kind of basically you can ask them how much it costs. Uh, but lots of different ways to make a church stage design. 
and a lot of people on there that are creative. Uh, I'm not a very creative person, and so I've used that website a lot to help with like camps and different things like that. Uh, but all kinds of things on there. There's a lot of uh, different ideas on there, and uh, and so it's kind of easy to get overwhelmed by it. But you can also search different things on there, and uh, they have uh, some that cost a lot of money, some of them that's very cheap. And uh, <clears throat> you can just look on there and decide what you want. So hopefully you found something uh, in this video that may help you and your church. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Uh, if you want to purchase any of the items, uh, please see the, the links below and, uh, and use those links. Those kind of help me out, uh, get a little extra on, on those. And so I'd appreciate it. I uh, hope you have a great day. If you have any questions, just feel free to let us know.